Good morning and welcome to Immaculate Conception Church. Our celebrant for this Mass is Father Daniel Velasco. At this time, would you please take a moment to turn off your cell phone or any other device that might create a distraction during the Mass. Also, please remember that face masks are required and that they must be worn properly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Spirit. Today is Mass. It is the first Sunday of Advent. And um, of course, every Mass is a big celebration. But today is even better and bigger because today we celebrate the right of acceptance for the uh, candidates to the catechumen. And then we also give the welcoming to those who are going to be received into the full communion of the church. And also today, besides the bread, which you already know, we have a visiting priest, Father Luke Turner, who is a Benedictine monk from St. Benedict's Abbey, a friend of mine, and a spiritual mentor for me. So, brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, oh my God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have done to you, through my fault. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forward to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that, gathered at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father. Our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways, and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down with the, he with the mountains quaking before you. While you brought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they had, heard not, had not heard of from of old. No ear has ever heard, no eye ever seen, 
any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves, and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us, and have delivered us up from our guilt. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim shine forth. Rouse your power and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way, with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work. 
and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crow, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, watch the gospel of the Lord. Be watchful. Be alert. That is the advice Jesus provides his disciples. Be watchful. Be alert. Those words, when we hear them, they tend to increase our anxiety level and even cause our heart beat to raise. But being alert and be watchful can be a helpful advice. For example, in different children's games like hide and seek, which probably many of our young parishioners do not remember, but you adults and we remember playing that kind of games, where being watchful was a good strategy to win because it required you to be attentive and be extremely quiet when you heard the person looking for you was drawing close. And be attentive and be watchful would alert you to be extra quiet to allow you to win the game. In my personal experience with tennis, when I used to play tournaments, I would scout my opponents to learn their game and be watchful against some shots that I needed to avoid. And even in business, being watchful and be alert, it is helpful business strategy to be aware of your strengths, strength, being aware of your competition and the demand, and also about your costs and expenses to reduce them in order to increase your profit margin. And probably you can make your own list of experiences when being watchful or being alert was something that helped you overcome a threat or obtain a positive outcome. When Jesus shares this advice with his disciples, it is part of his discourse about the end of times and his second coming. But the important part of the advice was to be watchful, not just for that day, but be watchful at all times, morning, evening, dawn, sunrise. Be watchful, watchful at all times. And this advice is what we are invited to incorporate in our prayer life, in our relationship with God, to be watchful for all the time in our lives and to be aware that God's presence is there. That God, God's presence is there at those times when someone comes to our need in a time when we were facing a trouble. God's presence is there when you look at your kids' faces or grandkids' faces and they share the love, their love with you, God's presence is definitely there. If we pay attention to the Holy Spirit moving within us, you will see His presence when He invited you to attend Mass this morning or when you seek God's forgiveness at the confessional. Holy Spirit and God's presence is there in those moments. And God's presence is also there in a personal prayer experience 
as well as in those moments of desolation, emptiness, dryness, and pain. God is present just the same. The invitation for us is just to be aware, to be attentive, to be aware and alert. Because God is present all at all times. The question is, are we open to his presence? And to be hopeful and remember that Jesus himself promised that he will be with us always until the end of time. to do the right of acceptance uh, so dear friends the church joyfully welcomes today those who will be received into the order of catechumens in the months to come they will prepare for their initiation into Christian faith by baptism confirmation and Eucharist we also greet those who already one with us by baptism now they wish to complete their Christian initiation through confirmation and Eucharist or to be received into the full communion of the church. For all of this, we give thanks and praise to the God who has led them by various path, paths to oneness in faith. My dear candidates, you are welcome in the name of Christ. And I'm going to ask you to stand up. Um, the candidates, please stand up, and also those who will be receiving the full communion. And now I'm going to ask the name, and we'll go by row. What is your name? And go person by person. the ones on my left, what do you ask of God's church? Faith. And what does the faith offer to you? Turn alive. And now, for you, guys on my right, uh, what do you ask of God's church today? Okay, and all together, and what does this period of formation offer to you? God is our creator, and in him all living things have their existence. He enlightens our minds so that we may come to know and worship him. He has sent his faithful witness, Jesus Christ, to announce to us what he has seen and heard, the mysteries of heaven and earth. Since you acknowledge with joy that Christ has come now, is the time to hear his word, so that you may possess eternal life by beginning in our company to know God and to love your neighbor. This question is for all of you. Are you ready, with the help of God, to live this life? Okay. Now, to those uh, to seek uh, complete uh, complete uh, your Christian initiation, the ones on my right. Those of you who seek to complete your Christian initiation or to be received into the full communion of the Catholic Church, are you prepared to listen to the apostles' instruction? Gather with us for prayer and join us in the love and, and service of others. 
Okay? And now the sponsors of these candidates, can you stand up wherever you're seated? Just you stand up all the sponsors. Okay? Okay. The sponsors, you now present these candidates to us. Are you, and all who are gathered with us, that's a question for all the community, ready to help these candidates follow Christ? I am. Just because of COVID uh, restrictions, I'm going to give the sign from the altar. I sign with you the sign of eternal life in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, by the cross and resurrection of your Son, you have given life to your people. Your servants have received the sign of the cross, made them living proof of its saving power, and help them to persevere in the footsteps of Christ. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let us stand up to profess together our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God and God, life and light, true God and true God, begotten and not made, consecrated to the Father, through the name of all things. May the wind and his life be 
He has signed the Christ promise to bring us salvation. May you come quickly and not to us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as we are dead, we are praying. Holy, Lord, we pray for every evil, 
are pleasing our guests, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now, with a blast, let us all bring to us.
let us pray. May this mystery, so Lord, in which we have participated, provide us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing plans, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and fall fast to what is yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may be seated for some announcements, please. Our 2021 parish, parish calendars are in. They are available free of charge and can be picked up at the entrances of the church or at the church office. Please see the booking for more information. And that's it. So those are short announcements this week. Uh, before we have a blessing, uh, of course, I want to congratulate to our catechumens and to our candidates. It's a big step for all of you, your families, and of course, for us, the church. Uh, also, I want to thank, or to thank, also, of course, Deacon Greg, but also Father Lord uh, for being here to come celebrate with us. And uh, for all of you, for all your prayers during uh, the time of quarantine and while Father John was sick, thank you for all the prayers. The kids have sent us cards. All the good that you said, thank you very much for your hospitality. And I want to wish you a blessed week. So let us stand with the Bible. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God peace and be blessed. Thanks.